Shalom Sprouties! This is Rivka from the Corganic Family. The next thing we're going to do is learn how to set up an About Me page in the WordPress Foodie Pro theme. Now a little bit of this is going to be poking around and kind of figuring out how to do it because this is the first page that I am creating. Um, it looks like here's a shortcut. There's, um, I was going to go over here to Pages and Create from there, but maybe this gives you, um, this is kind of cool, I'm just realizing in this box, um, I feel like so many things are coming at me from different places. I sometimes <laughs> I'm overlooking what's right in front of my face. Um, so here, it's giving you your next steps, write your first blog post, not ready to do that yet. But add an about page, that's exactly what I want to do. Um, I just want to show the other way to do that would be to go over here um, and to add a new page and then you know there's steps to go through that way plus we have just to show you really quickly all these pages from the demo content that we uploaded in a previous video and I'm not really a hundred percent sure if I'm um, happy that I did that or if that ended up being kind of overwhelming to have so many different pages um, but that's the way we did it so <laughs> okay We'll work with what we have. Um, but now let's go ahead and, oh, let me just back up for one second because I had added a, a, um, a tip in another video and I had mentioned that when we uh, uploaded all of our widgets a few videos ago, I had forgot to come back over and um, let me just show you how to do this. You would probably know by now, but just to make sure, you can always see where your site is. So after we uploaded all those widgets, um, whoops, I actually meant to open that in a new tab, which I, what I do is I, and I think most people do this, just kind of open this in a new tab. That's what I have right here. We don't need really need to, but um, that's what I meant, to come over here and to visit the site and then click on your site when it opens in a new tab and what we had over here on the right you know all this over here all the widgets that we added so what what happened is when I finished that video I forgot to um, refresh this page where the where we can view our site at, in progress and show that all those widgets uploaded um, okay so that's just a side note and then coming back over here, let's add an About Me page. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enter a few things in here. Um, let's just say this is a family site, really, so we're going to say About Us. Um, and then I'm going to add a couple things here in the content, and I'm going to pause the video while I write it. Okay, so I wrote a little bit of text. I'll, you know, maybe further develop this later, but this is just to get us started. We're a family of five, gratefully living a kosher organic lifestyle. Thus our name, Corganic Family. Our blog is about sharing our many journeys and interests. If we could sum it up in one word, our blog is about growth. Growth as a people, or as people, as a family, as parents, as friends, as spiritual beings, as cooks, as artists, as the list goes on. So we have a lot of interests and we're not exactly um, sure how to sum up the interests and that's why we'll come back to this later. Um, our blog I guess would be referred to as like a lifestyle blog because it's about so many different things um, and I really don't want to limit it. Um, anyway this is just a personal flavor. From here we're going to um, I also want to add a picture on our About Me page, and I think what I need to do is bring the cursor up towards the top of the page, and then come up here to add media. Another quick thing I wanted to show you that I think is really cool is you have a view page um, option here, and you have a, um, I thought there was one over here also, I guess preview changes. Um, anyway, really quickly, you can just come and you can view the page. Oops, no, I don't mean to leave this page. Hang on, I just did this. Where's that link? It automatically had opened in another. Well, let me just try to open it in a new tab. I think
thought the one that I just used automatically did it. Okay, so you can see what we have so far. Um, I feel like this is too big for this, so we've got to kind of play with this. This is um, too small or this is too big. I don't know, but it feels a little bit too dramatic to me. Anyway, we'll see how it looks when we get the picture in here. Okay, so we can just refresh this page now um, after we get a little bit more set up. So let's click in here. And this is the first time I'm adding any media, so I really have no idea. Uh, this is not, I'm going to add a picture that I haven't already uploaded. Okay, so I'm going to come into my folder that I'm working in. And I just went ahead and did, this is one of our more recent pictures. And then I don't think that I want to necessarily touch anything over here. Um, let's see how it looks since this is automatically the default that, that it selected. Okay, and then let's see how we maybe move it around. Not letting me drag it. Oh, here, maybe I can just center it, which is more what I'm looking for. And then, okay, that wasn't so bad. So I just clicked on it and then I centered it. Um, and then what I want to do is I want to make this a little bigger. Just a little bit bigger. Looks like it just keeps recentering it very nicely. Okay, so let's see how this looks on our page. Let's come over here. It's really easy. I, I really like. I'm just clicking on it, and it's just automatically. Um, this is so intuitive. It's really exciting. Okay, so let's do this. refreshing it. Um, okay, I'm going to pause for just a couple seconds because I think it might just need, um, you know, to upload and, and have a couple um, seconds or maybe a minute or two to go um, live. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. Let's try this again. I may need to do something like maybe I didn't hit save or maybe I had to click off it maybe it thought I was still editing it not really sure um, so now that I clicked off it let's maybe try it again okay I don't know if it needs more time or to click update. Maybe I do. So I feel like I didn't click that before and it was automatically showing the update so that's why I'm not sure if that's what it was. Oh, maybe that was it. Okay. Um, on our about us page. I don't necessarily want the sidebar. Um, I'm not sure about that yet. But anyway, let's focus on the other stuff. Yeah, this looks really good. And now um, I still think I would like the font to be a little bit bigger, just a little bit easier to read. The size isn't really bothering me anymore. Um, let's see if the text automatically updates because I'm just kind of confused. 
as far as learning how to create pages if we have to click update each time. So let's select this and then oh maybe this is just all the same all our text across the board. I might have to edit my default font, I guess is what's going to have to happen. Okay. Um, that'll be something we come back to later. I'm not going to spend a lot of time right now with um, with fonts. I know Foodie Pro is really awesome. There's tons of stuff you can customize, but I'm super overwhelmed right now just getting the basics set up. Since, um, as I mentioned in other videos, this is the first time I have um, done a WordPress theme where I've created a website this way without like a web builder. Um, and it's a lot of fun, but it's also uh, a lot of work and a lot to learn for someone doing it the first time. Uh, so hopefully if you're also new, and I'm sure you're probably new if you're watching these videos, that this really helps you out. Um, I have videos online also and, and on and follow the tutorials of the designer and um, they were really helpful but they didn't really go step by step and that's why I thought these videos would be really helpful it's just to really um, take someone step by step the same way that you know I kind of need to set it up so hopefully hopefully you found this helpful um, the next thing I think we're gonna do is create a menu and then from there the about me section on the home page which is that area in the top right of the home page which is not a full page like this it's just a little snippet um, of the of the about me um, so yeah so hopefully you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and um, even better subscribe to our channel One other just real quick thing I wanted to add, and that is um, right here on the web page when you come to view the page, um, it's very handy that they add the edit button here, which takes you right back into your dashboard. So um, if you remember before, I was a little bit hesitant to click on the view page here because it was going to take me out of the dashboard to the website, but um, there's no problem doing that because then you just go right back to your you can go right back to your dashboard again after you view it so um, that's handy to go back and forth and one more PS I did just um, find the button that I had mentioned before that automatically opens a new tab so there's multiple ways you can do that you can go to preview changes and then it opens in the new tab or you can um, go back and forth like I said here where this one takes you direct and it'll change this page itself. Okay, enjoy guys.